All right, I am 41 weeks and one day today. Yesterday, which was Christmas day, my labor began after doing some pelvic exercises. What I did was I, I did, I was laid in the bed on my knees like this for 30 minutes. And then I came in my bathroom, put my leg up like this, and just did some lunges like this. Did that for 30 minutes. And then I realized I cannot do this for 30 whole minutes. So I cut my time for each exercise down to five minutes a piece. And by the end of the day, my contractions had started. So that was yesterday. And I'm still having very strong contractions, but they're maybe five to 15 minutes apart. Um, they're coming steadily and very heavily and very hard, but I'm still losing my mucus plug, so I still have a ways to go. So I'm pretty sure once that mucus plug comes out, because my last pregnancy, once that mucus plug was out, my labor immediately you know, just took off. And I had my baby within an hour of getting to the hospital. No epidural. That was baby number six. Um, baby number one to three, those had epidurals because of C-sections. Baby number four, they barely got the epidural in. Her head was already coming out by the time they got the epidural in. So I could have had her without an a epidural as well. Baby number five, um, had an epidural. I'm happy that I did because she was sunny side up looking at the ceiling when she came out and I had horrible back labor with her and had to use forceps on her. So I'm so happy that I had an epidural with her. Baby number six, she came out sideways. Um, no epidural and labor went very quickly but I had very, very Actually, my back pain was worse with her than with my sunny side up baby. So this baby, plan on doing no epidural again because I feel like without the epidural, my labors went just like that. So I'm going to endure at home until my contractions get about maybe um, four minutes apart. And then I'll make my way to the hospital. The hospital is maybe five to ten minutes away. So that's what I'm going through right now. Baby number seven, baby boy. And this is us now. His head is engaged. Good pressure. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness, that is huge. Two weeks ago on the ultrasound, he was showing that he's 8 pounds, 14 ounces. So, he could be a 10 pounder. I'm not really sure. I had um, gestational diabetes this time for the very first time. But I controlled my blood sugar. So, my amniotic fluid went from a like 36 all the way down to a 14 just by controlling my blood sugar. And... But he, he was still growing pretty, pretty quickly. So. This is me. I'm hoping that my labor will go ahead and take off. These labor pains are no joke. And I'm going to go fix something to eat. I told myself I wasn't going to eat. While I'm in labor, but I think that birth is a good day away, maybe. Mm, I think I may feel the contraction coming soon. <sighs> that was just a bit uncomfortable. This actually does work. Have your husband lift your stomach while he's standing behind you. 
He may not feel the difference while he's lifting it up, but as soon as he lets go, or anybody can do it for you, as soon as they let go of your belly, you're going to feel how heavy your belly is. I didn't think that there was a trend going around, you know, on social media. I was like, that's so pointless. They come up with all these different things for people to try. But we actually tried it, and it actually takes a lot of weight off of your back. So. Okay, this is all for now. It's about, I want to say it's about maybe 11 a.m. December 26, 2021. <sighs> Thought we were going to have a Christmas baby, but there was no signs. Of, well, actually, there were no signs of labor December 24. So, I knew on December 25th, there was no way um, he was going to be born on December 25th. But my labor pains hit me about 8 p.m. December 25th. So, I knew by 12 o'clock. I actually could have had him by 12 or 1 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Because that's what happened with the last baby. I went into labor with her around 7 p.m. She was born around 1, 1 a.m. You know, the next morning. So... Okay, just a little update before things take off. <laughs>